pictures today um, because I wanted to get some uh, Chinese style ribs and all the local butchers to me they don't sell them um, because they uh, they're not a British uh, butchers um, so I had to find a traditional British butchers before I could get them but I managed to find them um, and I've got some uh, I've got a meat deal here um, there it's five pound a tray or you can get five trays for 20 quid. So that's what I did and I'll show you what I got. So here we go. So I've got some uh, Chinese chicken and uh, I remember my mum getting this when we were kids from the butcher and I absolutely love this chicken and I've not had it for a very long time. So I thought, you know what? Let's do it. Let's just get some. Um, so that's a, a tray of chicken. And then I got uh, smoky barbecue ribs. I do like barbecue ribs and I like Chinese style ribs. They are, you know, but these, I like them like this. I don't like them on the rack. But these are Chinese style ones. As you see, they are five pound a tray or five for 20. I think you're better off getting five for 20. And, you know, you can freeze them as well, which is good. So we got here, we got some pork steaks, the Chinese style pork steaks. So I've got two lots of those because I do like these ones. So I've got uh, quite a lot of meat there uh, for 20 quid. I think it's a very good price. Five trays. Right guys, so I've got another Gusto box. Uh, I've not really been doing any of these meals. Um, the last box, I think I did the two meals. Um, so let's open this up and uh, and see what there is. Uh, do you know, I can't remember what I ordered now, so it'll be interesting to see what there is. Right, guys, so I've got another Gusto box. Uh, I've not really been doing any of these meals. Um, the last box, I think I did the two meals. Um, so let's open this up and uh, and see what there is. Uh, do you know, I can't remember what I ordered now, so it'll be interesting to see what there is. Let's open it up. Right, let's take a look. So these are the recipe cards. So what we got here, so we got a spicy hoisin pork with ginger and sesame veg. It does look quite nice. And I've done them backwards, obviously. I hate when they mix them up. Um, what we got here? Chicken enchiladas. Girl, I've been, I got lucky. I got lucky that I got this meal because this was actually out of stock. Um, I think someone must have uh, either cancelled their order and I got lucky and I managed to get it. So I am looking forward to making this one. And this one here is a uh, sweet chilli pork noodles. Uh, I do like the look of these meals. And the lot. And this one is a cheesy veg packed pasta bake. Thought you know, it's, uh, do something different. So let's take a look inside. So we've got the the two zero two three. Uh, now that is for the vegetable bake. Put that there. And then we've got the two zero two seven. I'm not sure what one that's for, but let's just lay it there. Then the two six zero oh, six. So we've got some basil there, we've got to keep it room temperature. Uh, I forgot what that's called. I can't remember. Um, it's quite full that one. It's a round pack of that. Um, we've got some uh, cherry tomatoes. Pasta, egg noodles, which I've got thousands of. We've got a, a red chili. A bit of coriander that I don't like. Some green beans. Chopped tomatoes. We've got the wrap for the enchiladas. We've got um, two spring rolls, not spring rolls. <laughs> spring onion. 
And we have we got this uh, Monge 2. Uh, this is for the, I guess, in the stir fry. We've got two lots of that. We've got a lime. We've got an onion. And we've got a carrot. And in here is going to be all the meat and the cheese. Uh, the things that go with the recipe cards, they're going to be like the stuff in there. Like, it'd be like the. Um, be like the soy sauce and uh it'd be like the the cheese the cheese would be in the other one it'd be like the spices and stuff like that which they keep in the brown bags so i just stuck all the necessary ones with each one so you can see here now let's lay out all the ingredients up the the meat so this is a nice pack okay so what we got in here then, we got so red red cabbage, I think. Cheese. Sour cream. We got some chicken and fry fillets. Some more cheese. We got here pork mince. I've never never used pork mince before. Uh, what's this? Mozzarella. Italian hard cheese. And we got here more pork mince. And that is it. That's all the meat. And that is everything all laid out that I will need for these recipes. Uh, but I am going to make some authorizations uh, because for the stir fry, I'm not using pork mince. Uh, that is, uh, no, I'm using actually pork fillet. I'm, I'm going to go buy a pork fillet because I don't think I'd like the pork mince in a stir fry. So I might use that pork mince for something else. Uh, but yeah, it's um, if we if if you go back, I mean, this is you know to me this is a stir fry, and I I'm not having mince in my stir fry. I'm going to use actually fillet. Um, you know, so I don't mind. You know, I don't mind having it like that, but not not in a stir fry, definitely not. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, just going to be buying a pork fillet. I'll just go and get one from Tesco's. It's cheap enough to buy. Um, but other than that, this is the recipe. So I'm looking forward to making these meals. So make sure you stay tuned to if you want to see how I do these meals. And before I go, uh, I was talking about me getting a grater. Uh, well, I managed to get one. There we go, uh, I got it off Amazon. Um, but it looks like a fairly decent one, it wants to, it cost me like nine quid. Uh, but, you know, you could probably get it cheaper in, in other shops, but I've looked for a decent one. And uh, somebody uh, sent me this and they said, oh yeah, this is a decent uh, great R, so I, uh, I've taken their word for it. And um, so um, I'll give this a go uh, when I do some cooking. So guys, that is the end of my video. So I do hope that you enjoyed it. Please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll catch you again very soon. Take care. Bye.